Hi, Killer Clan. Welcome back to Giant Foods. We're super excited today. Well, honestly, I'm all shook up. Uh -huh. That was a horrible Elvis impression. But yes, we are doing the Elvis sandwich, the world's largest Elvis sandwich. Now, what is an Elvis, you may ask? It's peanut butter and banana, but sometimes bacon. So, of course, you know we're doing bacon. We got three pounds of bacon. We got five pounds of peanut butter. We got 13 bananas. And we also have, in debuting, a real three foot bread loaf. None of that putting them together to make three foot. We got one big one. So let's go ahead and put this Elvis together. It's time to eat like the king. All right, Mr. Poole, so shout out to the We Are In here in Philsburg. They order these, they come clear from Philadelphia. So shout out to Philadelphia. I can't remember the exact bakery name, but I'll try to get it and drop it in the description below. But we actually have a true, authentic three-foot bread loaf. And this is a big loaf of bread. Big loaf of bread, and uh, so no more of that putting them together to make a big loaf. So we got a three. So foot. we got three pounds yep. of bacon. You got that Jamestown. The reason I like this stuff, not only is it cheap, but it also has a lot of fat. So when I cook it the way I cook it, you just get that good rubbery deliciousness that bacon should have, not that crispy. I mean, think about the way you should cook bacon. As long as it's 160 degrees, it's fully cooked. It's the bacon that you eat, that you cook, is never 160 degrees. It's it has never, a six in it. Never, uh, it has a six, it has 60 a six degrees, in it. maybe. And it might be 60 degrees, but these are called irregular slices. Um, but I think they're delicious. Got that irregular slice. Flow, Andy Pool. Irregular. Irregular slices. It even says so right on. Right it even says so right on the box. Look at it. Irregular slices. It is irregular. <laughs> the fat's what makes it good. No. I mean, let's face it. The fat is the not more necessarily fat, what makes it good. The more fat, the better. Not true. You get a burger that's 90-10, it's usually dry and not very tasteful. If you get a burger that's like 73-27, I mean, that's what it is. It still has flavor. It is usually very dry if it's lean though. So we got two more pounds. We're going to go ahead and get this stuff opened up. We're going to get it in the oven. Obviously, you know how to cook bacon. Or maybe you don't. It just depends on what level you take it to. But I'm going to get this stuff cooked up and then we'll actually assemble this because there's not a whole lot to put in this like actual cooking. So we don't want to bore you with opening up bacon. All right, got the three foot loaf. We're gonna buzz this thing down the middle. Dang, dude, this is definitely the world's largest Elvis, right? I've never seen a three foot Elvis. I think the last person I saw actually do an Elvis was Matthew the Megatoad Sony. If I'm not mistaken. There's our three footer buzzed in half. Look at that. Nice and soft. I've got two full jars of the some of the greatest stuff in the world, peanut butter. I'm try to. You can't you, you can't ruin anything with peanut butter. <laughs> Peanut butter is delicious. Peanut butter is good on burgers. Peanut butter is good on eggs. Peanut butter is good on oatmeal. Peanut butter is good on. Comment below if you can name something that peanut butter wouldn't be good on. And if you can, probably wrong. Because it's delicious. What do you think, Mr. Cool? I'm pretty sure that I uh, tried peanut butter and syrup on a hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I think I, I think I may or may not have introduced you to that. All right, so we got the peanut butter down, as you can see, and what we got is 13 bananas. And obviously, I went with riper ones because obviously we're eating them now. So we're gonna go ahead and start cutting these puppies up. And we're gonna layer these puppies on and then the bacon, well the bacon was already done like two minutes ago. Mr. Cole informed me that most people would disagree. You're smoking too, so. Am I smoking that yet? Yeah. Hey, 
don't know how much a banana weighs, honestly. Uh, I don't know. I used to know. I couldn't even tell you when the last time I actually had a banana was. I can. The Chinese buffet, Andy Pool. <laughs> the Chinese buffet. In that buffet. pudding. With all the Nella wafers on it, I take all the vanilla wafers off. <laughs> Let me just put that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and peel the rest of these things and cut these, put them on, and then the bacon should be ready to go. We're ready. All right, Mr. Pool, so we got our bacon ready to go on. Get that peanut butter big flow. Oh, I'm sticking. I'm gonna have to retool it. I'm gonna have to retool my bacon apparatus here. And, uh, the utensils the good Lord gave me. Andy Ford. Dang it. Ouch. 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 We got We got it all on there. Kinda. It's kinda on there. It's not really on there. Somewhat on there. Somewhat on there. Here's a piece of bacon in there. I'm gonna put that over there. Stack this up. I got some veneer falling up. So put the lid on this puppy. There we go. Voila. Jesus. You had me at bacon and peanut butter. Killer Clan, so as you saw in the previous clips, Mr. Pool and myself went ahead and put together the world's largest Elva sandwich. That's peanut butter and banana. Sometimes bacon. And of course, you knew we were doing the bacon. This thing is gigantic. And it's delicious. And it's not really that hot because the only hot ingredient on it is the bacon. But it's a good thing I have my coldest water bottle over here. Because that'll definitely help me stay cool during this challenge. Jump over there. Use my link below. Get yourself a discount, grab yourself one of these 21 ounces all the way up to a gallon. All right, so without further ado, the world's largest Elvis sandwich challenge that I could find. Biggest one I saw on YouTube, I think was Matt Stoney's, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, search around. If you find something big, show it to me, but this is my version. Three foot long, 13 bananas, three pounds of bacon, and as much peanut butter as I could stack on the bread. Three, two, one, oh, oh, oh. I know, those Elvis imitations are horrible, but doing what I can do. I'm gonna actually try to cut this and eat it. I always get complaints that I never eat anything like a sandwich, so. Oh, look at that beast. Mmm. Mmm, that's where it's at. All that peanut butter. That's good. It's salty. It's sweet. It's a lot to eat. Mm. That's it. That's thick bread. Lots of peanut butter. I want to say there's like four pounds of bananas on there. Too. Nah. That's a lot. 
Like I said, shout out to the We Are In for hooking me up with these big rolls pack in order to order like six footers, three footers, two footers. And they come in from Philly. The cheese state capital of the world. This thing's a beast. Oh, look at that piece. Lots of bacon hanging outside. I almost had a good taste. It's like eating pizza with a fork or eating wings like to the fork. I've seen people do it. You just like take at night and cut the meat off the bone. Yep. So much peanut butter. So much peanut butter, you want to put two jokes. <coughs> I didn't even make it 10 minutes into the video. I feel like I have to take a bath already. <coughs> it's because this thing's a beast. Big, messy, delicious beast. Comment below like what your favorite specialty sandwich is. Like they have Reuben's, Rachel's, the Elvis. I don't know, showing you different variations. Wow. This is a hard one, I know. All I can say is it's a good thing I didn't put two jars on this thing. Two jars on that thing. <laughs> Two jars, I'd never finished it. I still got a long way to go. I think I have to get a spoon and pick up all my scrapples. <coughs> Look at this beast. Oh, man. <coughs> the center of the bread is better. <coughs> yeah, the end. Better than the outside.
overhooked basin. No. That's what it is. It's hard as a rock. Yep. That did not crunch like that thing that was just in your mouth. Overcooked bacon. <coughs> Chewing on glass over there. Sounds like a fillet. I'm probably sick. It's a very uh, <coughs> thick combination of ingredients. You got dense bread, creamy bananas, and thick peanut butter with 14 C's. It is bacon, I told you. Bacon's trying to kill me. That's why you don't cook your bacon crispy. You can chip a cheese. I think it's just bacon. Got the bones in there. <laughs> Might be. Might be the one of the biggest jaw workouts that I've ever had. There's a lot of healing. It's probably segmented now. Coming down here to the other end because the ends are hard to eat. This bread is delicious. It's just I got it out of the freezer yesterday. And I probably should have done this yesterday. It's not bacon. Still not as crunchy as that one piece. I know there's some hard pieces of bacon in here. Or some other famous pinky in the brain? Pinky in the brain. Pinky in the brain? I mean, come on. <clears throat> Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Comment below your favorite duo in the pack. You know, like Batman and Robin or Lois Lane and Superman. Mr. Poole. Andrew the Iceman Poulet. If he was French, that would be his name. Look at that! Have you ever seen something so glorious? Not good. I can honestly say this thing, it's almost gone, it's still delicious. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's really good. Well, it's peanut butter and it's bacon. Sweet and salty and peanut butter. It's a messy one. That's for sure. Ooh. 
I don't know what the hell that is. They have something crunchy in it. This is sound. I need like the Michael Jordan thing. Stop it. Get some in. Stop it. Get some in. If you're doing drugs, stop it. Get some in. Not necessarily bigger. bigger. Alright, get a big spoon. Going wrong? I don't see one. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's pull out your pulls actually perusing YouTube to see if we actually this is the biggest one. All right. I started it like a sandwich and I'm finishing it like a sandwich. It might be the message channel over here. Hey, pretty messy. So what we come to the conclusion is Matt Tony did one and Beard did one. Beard did a pretty big one. But I believe he was unable to finish it. But go over and check it out anyway. Oh,
<laughs> wow. That's a lot of humor. About 31 minutes. I stopped the timer, but my hands are covered in peanut butter. 31 minutes for the world's largest Elva sandwich with bacon. Wow. <clears throat> Alright, Killer Clan. So, there you go. About 31 minutes to finish a little over 10 pound Elva sandwich. Wow. It's kind of great having that big three foot log, but I gotta remember to definitely use it the day I get it. It was crunchy. It was delicious. I love peanut butter in it. This is one of the challenges that I actually was good the whole way through. And it didn't deter me from eating peanut butter at all. I'll probably have a peanut butter sandwich in the morning. Maybe I'll take a peanut butter and jelly for lunch. But if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Because otherwise, you wouldn't be here to see these great big huge crazy giant foods episodes. Drop some more ideas below. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Killer Kennedy. And until next time, eat an Elvis and take it easy.